Hey, this is Jason with 4W Knives. Today's project is going to be taking this giant leaf spring and turning it into a camp chopper slash bushcraft knife. I uh, want it to be shaped similar to a chopper, but small enough that a person could use it to, I, I don't know, use it around a camp uh, for little things, but also put on some firewood, maybe cut down a small tree. Uh, I don't know, whatever they need it to be done. Uh, survival situation, bushcraft situation, camping situation, kind of check all the boxes. I'll make it a little bit beefier than I normally would, uh, but not too beefy. So uh, anyways, I've already got it drawn out. I'm gonna take it over the chop saw, cut it down to a little manageable size, then split it, uh, and I'll use this bottom half uh, for making the knife. I'll thin it a little bit on the roller mill, and then I'll take it to the anvil we're all pounded out. Won't be a lot of forging, but it'll be a little bit. I appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoy it. Once I get to the anvil, I'll use a diagram that I drew onto the anvil for reference. I start with the handle, isolate the material there by using the edge of the anvil, and then I will use other methods to shape the handle. Uh, here I'm using the cross pin. I'll use it to lengthen it out, to thin it out, without trying to get it to get too thick. Um, after I use the cross pin, I think I use the straight pin. I used my rounding hammer that I got from Cormulus and a couple other methods. Uh, I could have probably done some of this on the press, uh, but I haven't done a lot of hammering lately, so I wanted to do it on here. Once I get the handle down pat, basically all I have left to do is doing the bevels. Not sure how well you can see it, but I got a pro tip for you. Do not, I say do not hold the hot tongs in your hand while you wipe sweat out of your eyes. Tong hit me right here and it sizzled. It, ah, oh, it hurts, burns. <laughs> and I'm a big sissy when it comes to burns. But anyways, uh, at this point I'm doing the bevels and this is a long blade, so I had a lot of, uh, blade to bevel. Uh, I make sure I do both sides evenly to keep the bevel centered. Uh, I, I feel like I'm getting a little bit better at this. I did have to take a couple of heats to straighten the blade back out because uh, it started a banana a little bit. It wasn't bad, but just a little bit uh, just to get that final shaping. But you can see here that I'm able to widen that blade and get it to the desired width that I was wanting uh, for my drawing. I don't get a lot of comments on my videos, but when I do, a lot of times they're little suggestions. And I got this uh, suggestion from one of the viewers to try a different method to put texture or that forging look on my blades. So I took them up on it and I was glad that I did. Uh, instead of using the ball peen, I'm using the straight peen and I am hitting it at different angles uh, to create uh, divots or whatever you want to call it on there to create that texture turned out really good. I'm, I'm happy that I tried something different and that was because of one of the comments. So I, I appreciate that. I'm not sure if cutting in the tip is really considered cheating or, or not blacksmithing, but I cut in the tip. Uh, saved a lot of time and, and I'm kind of lazy. So anyways, uh, after I cut the tip in, take it to the two by 72 using the work rest and I get it to its final shape. There wasn't a whole lot of shaping that I had to do on here, uh, but I did have to do some fine tuning. Uh, my, my hammer work's getting better. I keep saying it, but it's still not to the point where 
uh, I don't have to do grinding afterwards. I did virtually zero uh, surface grinding on this one. I wanted to make sure I left that uh, textured look or forged look at the spine of the knife. Uh, and really grinding the bevels were not that hard because I had done so much work with the hammer. Uh, but I was able to clean them up. I used a 36 grit belt. Once I got them uh, rough ground in, I'll go do the heat treat, which I, I think I just show the quench. But as always, I did a thermal cycle or three thermal cycles. All right, after heat treat, I go through my progression of belts to do my finish grinding. I start with an 80 grit, which gets rid of all the 36 grit uh, scratch marks. Then a 120, I go through my three Trizac belts and I end with the conditioning belt, which is the finish that I leave on these bevels. So I thought I'd take a quick second uh, to tell you my thoughts on something. Uh, this is gonna be a camp knife. So like I said at the beginning, I want it to be able to chop a tree down, but also I want it to be able to slice a tomato or uh, cut up some meat or, or whatever, kind of a, a bushcraft uh, chef knife, you'll say. So point of all this is the edge geometry. I need it to be sturdy enough, strong enough, that it can uh, withstand the wiggers of uh, chopping a tree, but also thin enough that it can slice. Um, that's gonna be my challenge. Right now, I've got it down to, on the calipers, and they're the cheap calipers, it says 0 .03 uh, inches, 0 .03. That's a lot thicker than what I normally would do, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the convex grind on it at this point. Um, I may regret it, but I, I think this is the way to go. So anyways, I guess we'll find out. I'm gonna not show a lot of the handle uh, work on it. I'm gonna instead show a little bit of testing on it uh, just to kind of see how my heat treat withstands, how my edge geometry and all of that. And I wanna bring you guys along. I'm still trying to get the hang of this rotary platen or rotating platen. I never know how to say it, but uh, I'm starting to get better with it. It's uh, great for doing the convex grind. Uh, this is on the tighter of all three belts, and uh, but it allows me enough to get that grind in. I think it ended up turning out all right. Once I get this handle hand sanded, uh, I go ahead and go do some testing. Uh, do kind of the routine testing that you'd see on a lot of these videos. 
but the whole point of this was to see if I could chop, uh, be really aggressive with it. I don't cut all the way through this board, but uh, you get enough of the point. The table I was using was moving all over the place. Uh, so I just really wanted to see if my edge would hold up. As soon as I did that, I wanted to see if I could do something a little more finesse. And uh, I sliced up this little strawberry and it sliced real easily, it sliced evenly, uh, it worked well. Uh, after that, everything else is pretty bit self-explanatory. I just wanted to see um, if it was that utility type uh, camp knife that I was wanting, and I think it passed pretty well. Uh, the edge had no deflection, had no problem, and it was sharp all the way up to the end. I did slice some paper at the end, but I forgot to hit record, didn't realize it till later. Uh, but the, it's a sharp the entire time. It feels great in the hand. Uh, so I'm all finished with this video. Just gonna show the little glamour shots at the end. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, I would really appreciate it if if you would go like and subscribe to it. I've got up to 400 view or subscribers, and I'd sure like to get uh, more as we go. Once I get to 500, I think I'll do a giveaway. Uh, so I really enjoyed that the last time I did it. So uh, keep watching and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks a lot.